It's Wes, welcome to this video. Today we're gonna to be talking about the 56 millimeter F1.2 version two from Fuji and whether it's good for portraits. Now, uh, we are gonna dive into some portraits. Uh, I did a session last uh, Tuesday and uh, so we're gonna look at a few images, probably five sample images of uh, using that lens. So let us take a look. You're a beautiful person and a good person. And if no one has told you that today, let me be the first person to tell you that. All right, let's dive into these portraits. I called Luis, I said, hey, I need to do a, a photo session, a portrait session to test this lens. Um, he's the head of Mob and Mondays, which is a 10 year plus going on cycling group uh, here where I live. Uh, it's an awesome group. I love to go out there and take photos when I can. And so he said we'd meet up. I had bought a Mob and Monday uh, jersey. He uh, was going to give that to me and we were going to shoot some photos. So here are five photos from the session. All right, now the first portrait I took of Luis that I wanted to share, I shot at F8. And I wanted to do that because typically when you think of a lens like the 56 1.2, you think of, you know, blowing the background wide open. So, but I, I just wanted to see what this would be like. So uh, if we zoom in, you see the crisp asphalt and all the details around his feet. Very cool for an environmental portrait. Uh, unfortunately, behind him, the stacks of lumber is not the greatest thing. I do like the color and how it kind of matches or plays off his skin uh, tone, but overall, not my favorite background. But I do love how crisp it is all around. The edges, the corners are, uh, are awesome. So that's portrait number one shot at F8. For the next portrait that I chose, I picked one where I switched down to the um, maximum aperture of F1.2. And so here you can see the background is blown out um, as you would expect. Uh, the reason I chose this is a little bit of composition. We have him looking off in the sunset, all dramatic like, but you have the silhouette of him reflected in the glass. And it's nice and soft and subtle. And uh, I think it's it's a decent portrait. I mean, you can kind of see roughly his eye is like the golden ratio or um, the rule of thirds. Um, so not bad, not bad job done by me. All right, so um, this next one uh, I like because we have some like the rear view mirror brushing the frame. The F1.2 completely like softens the background. So the interior of the car is very soft. Uh, I like you got the reflection right here. Um, I could have cropped in a little bit um, or I could have gotten a little bit closer, uh, but overall I think it's decent. And I think the cinematic, if you want, like it reminds me of a movie scene filming in through a window. Um, I actually asked him to hop in the car to get um, sort of that framing around him. Like part of that is composition, but also part of that is definitely the 56 1.2 lens. So I really do like how um, it helps um, bring attention to the subject because the, the frames are, the frame of the photo is so soft and kind of leads your eye into that concrete um, center. So then I went around to the other side of the car. Um, and so this one, not maybe the best composition, like, but I do kind of like the fact that he's sitting forward in the frame. Uh, but here, the rear view mirror on the passenger side was probably taking up too much of the frame and it's a little bit distracting because it is bright, it's a bright highlight. Um, but in terms of like how the, the lens renders the stitching on the leather, really nice. The glow off the leather is superb. Um, I really, one thing I've learned by doing this lens study is I really love the, the way Fuji renders the light. And I actually went back and tried to recreate this, uh, film recipe that I created into a preset to use on some other images. And um, wow, the, the straight out of camera JPEG look is, you just can't beat it. All right, so there's one more and this was a little bit different. A uh, train went by in the background and I wanted to do kind of a handheld, I didn't have my tripod, handheld slow shutter speed and get the blurred uh, train in the background. And so this lens with the IBIS and the camera, uh, I managed to pull off, this is 1 25th of a second, so fairly slow allowed me to get that background blur. Composition's not great, but I do like the uh, the Rivian uh, name brand there that pops out. And uh, I like the, 
the orange on the bottom of the train and the green uh, with kind of green on the Rivian. So it's okay. Um, we are going to do another shoot. Um, so I intend, uh, uh, Luis wanted to do, he has a new Mob and Mondays jersey that's coming out. So we're going to do something in a canyon up in San Dimas or Glendora and get some action shots with that. And then that one, I am definitely going to bring the Viltrox 56 um, 1.4 to compare to the Fuji 56 1.2. But right now for a portrait lens, I would say this is about average of what I'd expect. I would expect a portrait lens to blur the background. I would expect it to have um, this very crisp subject. I think what I like so far is the Fuji colors. And I think that dominates um, the discussion so far. All right, if this video has been valuable to you, let me know in the comments and I will be doing two more lens tests. I committed to doing three portrait sessions with this lens before I decide to sell it. But um, I'm leaning towards selling it. It's a thousand dollar lens. I would say it's about a C average so far. I like it, but I don't love it. And it's gonna take something really special, um, special character in this lens to make me wanna keep it. So maybe next time we go up in the canyon with Luis riding his um, his bike, bicycle? I don't know. It's. He does all sorts of gravel off-road races and stuff. I got to ask him what you call that type of bike. Gravel bike? Uh, anyway, so we'll see some action shots, uh, portrait, uh, environmental lifestyle portraits in the next video. So, peace.